we're going to go over a couple items here on troubleshooting. One thing that can happen if you start feeling air coming out these weep holes in the catch assembly, you probably have a bad seal in the bottom and when the chamber is pressurized it'll weep out and of course that won't let it fire correctly. So just take it apart and check your, your seal. And then another thing, if it doesn't fire correctly, everything else seems to be working, but it seems to be sluggish on firing or not firing at all. The U-cup on the catch piston, if you have it upside down going the wrong way, it'll make it very slow to fire or may not fire at all and have, you'll have air coming out the weep hole as it's firing. Another thing that can happen if the rod, either rod, stays out and doesn't want to return, you probably have debris in the uh, main valve body. It's not letting the spool shuttle. And there's probably a crumble or something from the cushion caught in the valve. Or possibly it could be debris in these little air passages that go to the valve to uh, make it retract. So mainly you would have to just disassemble to whatever point and blow out the passages and put it back together. Sometimes it doesn't want to catch properly. It acts like it's, uh, you know, it, it wants to hang out when you fire it and you go to fire it again, it'll it won't be caught. It'll try to fire out on its own. And usually that is a problem with, it can either be plugged on the 21 nose, so it's not exhausting properly. You have debris inside the nose, make sure your passages are clear and that you have clear passage from the bottom of the valve body through this uh, port C to port B. Uh, but mainly, it'll usually be a problem with debris of some kind making a valve stick or possibly a bad O-ring. Uh, you could also have um, debris in the exhaust muffler to where it won't allow it the catch to exhaust. It'll keep back pressure. Um, so you just want to unscrew your uh, exhaust muffler and see if there's anything inside there. Um, even if it, if you see anything, even if it gets oily, it just won't let it flow, just replace it. Um, It'll cause a back pressure inside also, so it, it acts as a cushion when it go to fire up. And it won't, it might not stay latched. It'll like fire back up, but as soon as you let go of the, the triggers, the rod will come back down. Um, or it could be, um, like I said, plug passages, you know, take off your exhaust plate here and check and make sure there isn't uh, any of these passages in here plugged. Another thing, if it prematurely fires after the gun's been in service for quite some time, check the catches and see if there's a lot of wear. It may be just to the point where it'll prematurely unlatch because it's wore out which is a very dangerous situation. You, you want to avoid that, letting it wear that far before it would prematurely fire. And it could also be uh, the stunning rod nut could be just plain wore off. So those are a few things that you should watch. Be careful of the cushions, not to let them go so long. When they get too hot, they tend to crumble and you'll see like holes develop or cracks. It's easier to replace the cushion before it goes too far because when they crumble then you have a lot more work to clean and, and if a cushion completely goes then it's very hard on the nose. Um, another thing we've ran into is if when you go to fire it, push the head contact down, you just get air blowing out here. Um, like we when you took it apart before, there's three O-rings in here. Usually one of the O-rings is bad and it's the, the very upper one. 
um, but just Next take that out. Down. Yeah, take that out and replace it. But like I said, that's if you press the hot head contact and you get air blown out, it's usually a bad O-ring in the nose. And mainly just keep them clean and well lubricated.